I'm here with Dan McKenna uh, from Palomar Observatory. We're here to celebrate the 400th anniversary of the telescope, and this is your 60th year at Palomar? That's right. We're coming up on our 60th anniversary. This telescope re represents uh, so much of a statement of the technical and intellectual proudness of not only our institute, Caltech, but the United States, that uh, the pride and the inspiration that it represents, especially to the younger generation, the, the, the privilege to be able to represent that is extraordinary. And from that standpoint, running the telescope is not a job, but it's, it's an honor and a passion. It, it just exceeds anything I've ever done in my life. This has been uh, quite an exciting year for us because we uh, continue uh, the innovation that Palomar is known for in the instrumentation. And so we've commissioned several instruments, um, which is exciting for us because it just reinforces how vital of an observatory and the, the amount of creativity in the energy of our user community. Uh, one instrument in particular that may be interesting is P1640. Uh, this has been Oppenheimer's instrument. Uh, and it uh, is our planet finder. We have a couple of planet finding groups and uh, his technique utilizing um, a dispersive analysis of speckles um, actually allows us to uh, see through the scene and see dim companions uh, nearby stars so we hope to be turning out uh, planets soon. Another thing that's happened at Palomar is our 48-inch telescope has been upgraded with a new mosaic camera in a system known as the, um, the Palomar Transient Factory, or PTF. And in the past, a, an astronomer could go a career and discover just a few objects. Uh, the PTF uses not only our survey telescope, but the 60-inch Oscar Mayer telescope in conjunction, uh, both operating robotically and we are discovering a new object around every 15 minutes. Wow. 400 years ago, the sky was thought to be this unchanging, permanent, perfect sphere. And now what we're finding is there are things going off all the time. Not only does the light from the object itself reveal about the extreme physics going on, but the light propagating across the distance of the universe tells us what's in between. So there's a lot of information coming uh, to us from the starlight. Our mission, which we tell everybody, is just that. We harvest starlight and convert it to knowledge to share with the world. Because everybody takes away something different. And what we try to do is by interacting with the public and watching their attention span or their level of excitement that you can read in a crowd, is try to find the message of the day. And the message of the day has to do with uh, uh, the pursuit of knowledge, uh, what astronomy provides to the rest of the world, um, the power of, of intellect, uh, the excitement of inquiry, and just more or less the history and what has been done here. And we have a great investment in the continuing education of the public because as they connect with what they do, with what we do, their realization of things like um, how the earth is a unique uh, situation in the universe and how we're actually very small and the atmosphere is very interconnected, so all these environmental issues, along with just the passion for exploration, uh, is something that comes out a lot and we do our best to create a lot of excitement with particularly the younger generations uh, who will be walking in our footsteps. The uh, future is great for this telescope. Uh, unlike a lot of uh, major observatories that may be larger and more remote than us, our optical performance of this telescope, the innovation of instrumentation, and the proximity of this telescope to places like
Caltech and JPL make it an exciting development platform. And because we are a relatively small organization, we can concentrate on support and innovation. So I would say the combination of our instrument and our ability to innovate and our association with places like Caltech and JPL um, have, we, we have, I don't want to use the word bright future, <laughs> but I would, I would like to say that uh, the future uh, holds a lot of promise for us. Great. Thanks for talking with us today, Dan. My Appreciate pleasure. It.